Friday, AP Freakout. It's Ms. Kosh. We are continuing. Um, this is 310. So I had a video or two, I don't remember, with equations, and then we got into inequalities, and I got stumped. So um, I did figure it out, but you got to watch me struggle. Um, maybe that was enjoyable. I don't know. Sorry, whatever. Uh, watch me on double speed. <laughs> if you go back and watch that video um, until I get it right and then slow it down. Okay. Give an inequality that describes the values of x between negative pi and pi for which sine of x is less than zero and two cosine x plus one is less than zero. Oh, okay. I have not tried this problem. I have not taught this material ever before. This is new to me, so you get to watch me struggle. Let's see if I can do it correctly. Um, one way to think about it is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph sine between, sine between, here's pi and here's negative pi. So sine, whoa, oh, look something. So here's negative pi and here's pi. And it goes through zero, zero. I just missed. Um, and then, okay, so given an equality that describes the value for which sine is less than, okay, so, so the first part of this, the sine is less than zero part, would be from, this part alone is going to be from negative pi to zero, but we can't include those. It equals zeros on the endpoints. And then we have a 2x, uh, I lied, 2 cosine x plus 1 is less than, no, it's greater than zero. Um, so this one was the one that we struggled with a little bit ago. And what we found is that, well, if we graph this curve um, from, okay, here's pi over, negative pi over 2, here's negative pi, here's pi over 2, here's positive pi. Um, we had to, we have 1, 2, 3, um, and so we went up, and then here's the midline, and then we're down. And then here's the midline, and then we were down. Okay, so the cosine equation that we wanted before, ah, the cosine graph looked, well, okay, ish. Concave down, concave up, whatever. Okay, so we wanted to know where this is greater than zero. And if you remember, we saw, we struggled. Um, by we, I mean me. And this is negative 2 pi over 3, and this right here was positive 2 pi over 3. Okay, so we now, this one was, we're greater than zero between negative 2 pi over 3 and positive 2 pi over 3. But to answer this other question, we, it was between negative pi and 0. So for both of them to be true, um, we can't use anything between, like, okay, if you thought of here's negative pi, here's negative 2 pi over 3, here's 0, and here's 2 pi over 3. Not drawn to scale. Maybe I should have different tick marks. But um, we need... Um, we need the statement to be, it's true, hang on, I need new colors. Okay, this one, we're going to do this one in green. So this one is true, where sine is less than zero is true here and here, in those two intervals. Um, but it is false at the other places. Cosine is true, this is, okay, cosine is that color. Um, cosine is true here and here. That gives us a true statement here, but, but we need both things to happen. So the only way for both things to happen is for us to live inside this world. Um, so our final answer is, um, given an inequality that would describe the values for which that and that are true, um, so it's from negative 2 pi over 3 to 0 with soft brackets on each because there were not equal signs here and here. That was fun, you guys. Okay, um, let's keep going. We'll use the calculator. It's given us, once again, I haven't looked at these problems. Uh, it's given by that for both use the inverse trig keys on your calculator. Or check all work using a, okay. So first of all, they want us to just solve this with inverse, um, with the inverse keys. Um, so they're saying, where does it equal zero? So seven cosine of X plus three equals zero means that cosine of X needs to equal negative three sevenths. Okay. Um, so we come over here and we do inverse cosine of negative three sevenths. Um, oh, and notice they're telling me in terms of radians. They're telling me by using pi. If they had said between zero and, and 180, then we'd know it's degrees. Um, my calculator is in radians. I can see it right there. And when I hit enter, I get this value. And that does live between zero and pi. Pi is 3.14-ish. Um, so what is it? For what value of x on the interval? So x is approximately 2.137. Okay. Um, 
And then they say, oh, for what value on the interval um, does... So now they're saying, you now have to live between pi and 2 pi. Okay, so what's happening, this value, if you think unit circle, this value is not exactly on the unit circle, but 2.1 whatever is going to be in quadrant 2. So the other place that has... So wherever that is, um, I don't really care, but let's say that this cosine value, that x value is, is um, I lied, this cosine is negative 3 sevenths. The angle is um, 2.0137, um, which is more than, what is um, pi over 2? Pi over 2 is not helpful. Pro approximately, okay, so notice that lives, this angle is living in quadrant 2. And the other place where we have, the other angle that has the same cosine lives in quadrant 3. Okay, so what's happening is it's, um, we could say, um, hang on, what we've got is that we are, um, this angle right here is um, 2 point, it's about 2, it's a little over 2, um, and so then this has to be, we're going to be this far away beyond pi. Okay, so what we have here is, let's call this, let's call this chunk, I need a new color, let's call this chunk A. So then what we're going to have here is A would be pi, pi minus um, our x value is equal to A. But our new answer needs to be in quadrant 3, and that's going to be pi plus. Now, this value right here, this angle is the same. This is also A. So it's going to be pi plus A. So to find the approximation, we're going to say, um, you know what? I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to store this store as um, X. Okay, um, so then X, we can check X is equal to, yes, it is. So I don't have to remember that detail. Um, the TIs do that also. It just says STO. They have to stow it. Okay. Um, but we use this arrow button to store. Um, okay. What did I have? I had pi minus that um, X is going to be that A value. So I'm going to store this as A. And then I want to add that to pi. So pi, oh, I forgot to hit shift. Pi plus A is going to be about this big. Okay, what's a better way to do this? Um, oh, the other option is, the other way to find this answer is that if you had gone all the way around the circle, you'd be at 2 pi. Well, so 2 pi, this angle here is the same as this angle there. So you could say, you could also say that this is 2 pi minus x, and that might have been a better way to get there. Let's see, 2, but I didn't think of it immediately, minus x. And yes, those do match. So what's our answer? Um, X is approximately 4.2695. Um, so let me, let's go grab, um, let's go to the graph. So if I come down to graph, I don't know what I've been graphing. Huh, okay. Um, if I type this in, 7 cosine of X plus 3, and I might want to change my window. What do I want to, we're in, well, let's hit draw. Yeah, let's change the window. We need bigger Y values because we wanted to know, um, well, we just need, we want to see more of it. Uh, you know, maybe I need to be bigger than 10. I didn't need to be as little as I made it, whatever. Okay, there's our graph. We want to know when does it equal zero. And so we can do G solve. We can find our roots. And so here's the first one. That's not in the world we want to live in. That's not in the world we want to live in. The first answer that we wanted needed to be, oh, you can't see. The first answer we wanted needed to be between 0 and pi. That is the answer we wanted. And if you notice, they better match. I think they do. Okay, then they wanted us to find the next one. And that's here. Is this, does this match this? It sure does. That was kind of fun. Um, this video is lasting a long time. Let me look at this next one. The function is given by that. Use a graph to determine the values of x on the interval for which... Oh, okay. Let's just do this one real fast and call it a day. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all, I've talked too much. Okay, I'm going to come back for another video. I need some water. <coughs>